Tuesday. Are we more racist than we were in the civil rights movement? I think so. That's preposterous. Uh, Who believes we're less racist now than the civil rights movement? Yes. <laughs> but, but. What's up guys, it's Mike Lusso. We're here at Cal Poly Pomona and we're talking to people about if Donald Trump is racist. So I don't believe he's racist and a lot of people believe he is, so we're just talking about it. Make sure you watch James Klug's video on this. He did it first. I'll put a link to that in the description. Thanks guys for watching. What's your opinion? Getting people's public opinion. Okay, yeah, I give my damn opinion. <laughs> What's so, What's the do you, so Trump is not a racist. Do you agree with that statement or do you disagree? I disagree. Why so? Because he uses his power to oppress people of color and he doesn't give a f about nobody. Uh, can you give me examples? His, he's rude. The things he's put in place like the wall to the comments he's made on immigrants, like how Hispanics or Mexicans are like, Rapists, he said that. Said, did, he, did he say uh, all Mexicans are rapists or did he just say that there's rapists? It doesn't matter, but it's not his place to say who's a rapist or who's not. He shouldn't be saying that as president. He needs to be impeached. Do, Trump. Do you believe he's a racist? Mm, I don't know. And I think it's fair to say that because the media on both sides kind of pushes their own idea on us and there's not really any non-biased sources to kind of see what he says i get like i've never really looked at a full speech so i've kind of just heard what people said but from what people say then i think yeah but why do you think he's not um so i don't believe he's a racist i've heard i've heard him speak like three times uh, i've been to the white house he's invited like 400 plus young black leaders to the white house he's addressed them several times he's had hispanics minorities there uh, all the time the media rarely covers it so like you're saying there's a media bias on both sides agree or disagree, uh, I disagree. I'm, I'm just asking you disagree so you believe he is a racist i mean yeah uh why because i think he's racist because of just everything he stood for even way back the interview he had for the um central park five like even back then he was saying stuff about black people i think he's but well, he's probably like um What's the dude name? Hitler. <laughs> so you, you're equating him to Hitler? I would, yeah. Trump, Trump why? Racist ass. Oh, give me an example of him being Some racist. Stuff that he says. Says or does? Does too. Says that Mexicans are criminals, all that stuff. That's not an action though. That's saying though. He's saying that, that Mexicans are criminals and all that stuff. Did you say all Mexicans are criminals or is he just saying that crime comes from Mexico? Mm, I think he said all of them too, because he also disrespected the president too of Mexico, and he's pretty highly regarded. Um, so he actually he never said all Mexicans are rapists. Still, so are you Hispanic or Mexican? Yes. Okay. You have family in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you're probably aware of you know crime that goes on in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, did, were you aware that 90% of all heroin comes from the southern border? Yes. Uh, a thousand kids are sex trafficked a year from the southern border. 80% mm -hmm. of Central American women are raped coming across the southern border. Yep. So we, based on those things, do you think the southern border is safe and secure? No, it's okay, not. So then what's the problem with Trump saying that? Because mm, out of, I say it's not just Mexico that has all these problems too. Of course, no one's arguing. Yeah, but I don't know, just the way that he treats them or says, says about them, I don't really like how he, he says it. So. I agree with you that he could probably say it better, but does that take away from the fact that those things are still happening? Children are still being sex trafficked. So whether or not Trump is saying it nationally, shouldn't we still do something about it? Hmm. Well, that's, I say that's Mexico's problem. That wouldn't be really U.S. Oh, of so, course. So. Yeah, it's Mexico's problem. And Mexico, do, would you agree that Mexico's doing something? Do you think Mexico's doing a good job? No, nah, they're, they're not. So you agree with Trump on those things. So if you agree with Trump on those things, how, how do you believe that he's racist? Where did that come from? Mm, the way he is, I don't know, he's Caucasian. So he's saying just stuff about other races. That Isn't it racist to believe that someone is racist just because of the color of their skin? Because he's white, it means he's racist. They, if a, Obama was the deporter in chief, he deported more Hispanics, Mexicans than any other president. Was Obama racist? Mm -hmm. So why is Obama not racist, but Trump is racist? The way he carries himself? Are we more racist than we were in the civil rights movement? I think so. That's preposterous. I what? think I, I am. I am. I, I uh, first of all, first of all, first of all, I am an African American individual. I can walk. In, I can walk in there in that Starbucks. No Are one's gonna protest me. Of ra like How? The same I'm not. I'm not gonna be lynched. We're still more racist. I'm. I'm gonna. I got an education from a private university. There are people, I, I see several minorities here, black people here who are at the same school you are. How are we more racist now? If we were more racist now, they wouldn't be here. 
They would be bus stops somewhere else in Compton. Different types of racism. It's Different obviously not types? the same amount of well, like, oh, if it's worse, lynched or whatnot. But if it's worse? I didn't say it's, we still have the same amount of, the same level of racism that we had Asked if we were then. more racist. No, it's just, we still have this, we have not progressed yes. when we should have. We have not the, progressed. We have not. She doesn't speak for me. I feel like we're, we're, we're definitely less racist than we were during the Civil War. Who believes we're less racist now than the Civil Rights Movement? Yes. But, but, right? Okay, so I'm gonna just say, most presidents probably did some effed up stuff that they shouldn't have, but Trump is just blatantly disrespectful with it, and he walks around with privilege as if nobody can check him on it. Whatever Obama did, ain't nobody know, okay? Everybody do their dirt, but he moved in a very classy way that Trump refuses to do. So if you're gonna be on your bull be a racist, or be prejudiced, don't do that and be the president. But why is it okay for Obama because he was classy about it? So Obama, be classy so Obama, about your bullshit. If you're like, doing something, be classy about it. Don't so let the Obama, bo Obama bombing uh, other countries. He, we he, gotta he, bomb he, countries. As a president, you gonna no, bomb he, and make decisions. He, he bombed better. doctors without borders. He 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 attacked several countries for no reason. But uh, but because Obama was eloquent, he got a pass. Yep. We're in the dying breaths of racism. That's why it's speaking louder than it ever is. We're in the die. When something's about to die, it will scream the loudest. And we're at the point where it is screaming the loudest. And the smaller groups are becoming smaller and more radical. And that's why we think it's everywhere, but at the same time, it's dying. And when things start to die, again, it screams. Do you think, okay, let's talk about the standards of race. Do you think that there has to be a very specific standard to make a person a racist? Do you think we're too lax on we just call everyone a racist for whatever? I don't think we're just calling him a racist just because. I think he just... He makes it known, like... But what has he done? What has he done specifically? Because he can say things that are questionable. I agree with you on that. Right. And you can be prejudiced, you can be discriminatory. Mm. But to actually be racist, mm. wouldn't you have to do certain things? Like Hitler, what did he do? He killed six million Jews. He, he targeted minorities, specifically with right, policies. Right. I guess it is something to think about. And yeah, maybe what he says is different from how he thinks. I mean, Trump is not... I mean, there's specific thing like his actual tweets or things he's he's recorded and said like on the news what has he done though what has he done yeah, i mean something that he has done specifically i mean being a racist doesn't mean you have to have specifically done something yourself but i know i know the, the most recent thing i've heard was the thing where he comp compared something to, to like a lynching or something yeah, yeah, he used uh, lynching as, as a metaphor. Yeah. I don't think that's it was accurate metaphor. I, yeah, I think it was probably... I think so. When it comes to words, words are up to interpretation. True. You know, when it comes to language, I don't know if you've ever taken like a linguistics class. Yeah. Um, they teach you that um, people hear things differently and people interpret things differently. So when it comes to rhetoric and things he says, are they questionable? Is it debatable? Can we have conversations about it? True. Yes, True. I agree on that. But can we determine without a without a doubt that he is in fact racist. We can't do that based on just his rhetoric. We have to look at his actions. He's figuring since most of supposed crime is from people that come from Mexico that- Well, it's not just crime. It is like right. like oh, over a hundred thousand, not a hundred thousand, over a thousand uh, mm -hmm. girls are put into sex trafficking through the southern border. 90% right. of all heroin comes from the southern border. 80% of Central American women are raped coming across the southern border. Coyotes who are, you know, Mexicans and Central Americans take advantage mm -hmm. of little girls and, and people coming across the border because they know they're desperate. Uh, most of the families, you talk about family separation, most of the families who are there, right. the kids weren't even uh, their children. You know, it's mixed family. So it's like if you had a family come and you're like that that's this isn't your mom or your dad it's like a seven-year-old girl mm -hmm. and you know that this girl is 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 uh probably going to be put in sex trafficking wouldn't you separate them uh, i suppose well why do you think he's not a racist just so, based off of what you said like how so, it's not what he says yeah so i i don't believe he's a racist for uh uh, simple philosophy. I'm not saying that he hasn't said things that are questionable or that are prejudiced or discriminatory. I'm saying to actually be racist, I think you have to have a very specific standard. Are you here today? Yeah, I'm gonna be here today. Do you agree? Disagree? I agree. He's not a racist. He's not a racist? Why so? Um, nothing shows that he is racist. People just keep on continuing to say so, but nothing really puts up to show that he is. What have you, what examples have you heard that proves, people say proves he's racist? Um, examples that they say that he's racist for. Um, I'm not really sure, honestly. They, my mother was one of the people who always say that she's racist, saying that he um, doesn't pay his workers um, because they're Mexican and stuff like that. Like, just 
all anecdotal stuff that they just feel that way. So it's fake. It's all fake. People always bring up rhetoric. But if you study language, linguistics, uh, language is up to interpretation. So people hear things differently. People interpret things differently when it comes to rhetoric. So I think when you want to, uh, when we want to judge our government officials, we have to look at voting records. We have to look at policies. We have to look at things that they specifically put in place, and not necessarily things that they've said. So I agree with you. Is this rhetoric questionable? Is it prejudice and discriminatory? Sure, we can agree on that. But I don't think it's hard, concrete evidence to say that he is in fact racist. Hmm. <laughs> I still say f Donald Trump, and that's that. Obama always. I think that depends on your personal, religious, or uh, legal views. Um, because not to everybody, Trump is a racist. To some people, Trump is actually doing a good job. Um, like I said, not everybody necessarily thinks that way. However, there are people who do think that Donald Trump is racist because he promotes bigotry and. Uh, misogyny within our nation yeah, but I, I would agree with you that um because usually when i talk to people they bring up his rhetoric and um if you've if you've taken like a linguistics class or like language we just know that when it comes to rhetoric and things people say it's always up to interpretation people hear things differently especially if you're from a different and culture and stuff like that your opinion and your views will always counters to someone else yeah. because what he's doing for other people might be one of the greatest things ever for another person it's a very different experience yeah. Well, for me, that's why I try to focus on things that he's doing specifically, um, not just his rhetoric. I agree, and I've talked to most people who disagree with me. I said I agree with you that his rhetoric is questionable and whatnot, but I think that things that he's done specifically, like he 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 he's not he that's, he's not doing like a lynch mob and you know lynching black people. Like I want to know specific policies and things he's done that have specifically hurt minorities. I think that's the question everybody wants to know. I don't think that's just your question. I think that's America's question. What is he doing yeah. with with the? And it's not just that. It's oh god, I lost my train of thought. But pretty much, I, in my personal opinion, I feel like someone who. You don't have to be a racist in order to promote racism. You can have certain ways or tendencies about yourself that. I think it just makes you human. Imply absolutely it makes you human just like everybody else and just like everybody else you want to be respectful of things you want to make sure everyone is accounted for you want to make sure everyone is listened to and heard so i'm hoping that donald trump when he's in office he's listening to what people around him are saying i percent agree so you believe he's not a racist well i was going for him in the primaries i converted okay. i changed my whole family's mind if you're okay. trying to change people okay. so i changed my parents mind about it okay. I voted for him. I'm 100% Trump supporter. Where are you from? Are you from? I'm from Pasadena. Okay. Are you? I'm Armenian. Okay. My dad moved here from Lebanon legally, okay. and my mom moved here from Iraq legally yeah. about 20, 30 years ago, yeah. and now we're all American citizens. Yeah. So, so I bet you're happy about uh, the House acknowledging the Armenian genocide. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. We're very excited about that, and then we also have uh, Ted Cruz's support in the Senate. So we have a lot of influence there, and I'm pretty excited about that. There's like nothing that I've seen, like particularly that's pointed to him being racist. I feel like there's just like a lot of finger pointing going on that just trying to like, you know, take him down just because of like he doesn't agree with like certain people's ideologies. So they're just trying to like attack like the fact that he's like someone who's white and in a position of power. So they try to automatically assume like oh, he's racist. Sorry, the wind's like. <laughs> in my eyes. But do you think but it's okay for like a president to be prejudiced? Um, I think it's okay for a, pre for a president to be human. So mm. I think we have this standard of uh, the president is perfect, he's this like high moral authority. I don't think we should be looking to the president as a moral authority. I think that should be like our church leaders or our, our parents, people we look up to, um, local people. I don't think that should be the president or anyone in the government. Mm -hmm. But should like a leader of a country be prejudiced? Somebody who's supposed to represent the perfect citizen, or not the perfect citizen, but the ideal citizen. Especially like taking what we have from like previous knowledge on like African American history and like Latino history in the United States. Do you think that somebody should be representing the bad parts of our culture? Um, so I'll two parts to that question. I'll say. For it. Should our president be prejudiced? Yes. I think he should be prejudiced in favor of the American people. Um, I think when he says things like America first and make America great again, uh, people uh, typically say, well, oh, well, when was it ever great for blacks, Hispanics, stuff like that. Um, but we often forget that I'm African American, I'm a US citizen. You know, it's like Hispanics are US citizens too. So when he's saying things like America first, American people first, that includes Hispanics and blacks and Asians. But our mind frame is kind of like brainwashing us to think that, oh, if I'm black, 
I'm not treated as a U.S. citizen when that's not necessarily true. Okay, uh, the First Step Act. Do you know what the First Step Act is? No. So the First Step Act is a non-bipartisan bill that was put into place. Democrats and Republicans were in favor of it, but um, Trump signed it. Uh, black leaders, minority leaders went to Trump and said, we have a problem with uh, uh, a large uh, population of blacks being in prison mm -hmm. will you help us and Trump said yes okay. and uh, he signed the bill and it's a recidivism program that helps minorities uh, uh, not return to a life of crime after prison so this bill is uh, specifically in uh, tandem to f combat and fight against Bill Clinton's war on crime that put minorities by large in prisons for crimes that today in 2019 are lo no longer crimes okay. so I, for me, when I look at that specifically, those actions, things that policies he's done, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand how a racist would do something like that. There's drug cartels. There's you know the 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 what, what the coyotes who prey on you know immigrants trying to cross over. Uh, Eight-year-old, seven-year-old girls being raped, being put into sex trafficking. Uh, Ninety percent of all heroin comes from the southern border. So I'm sure you're probably aware of those things at, at some capacity, right? Yeah. So I think uh, would, so basically based on those things, could you see that maybe the wall is more about those things and not necessarily about the good people of Mexico? Yeah, I definitely could see that. Do you think Trump represents us as in like, do you think he's a great representation of the American people? Uh, it depends who you're talking to. So and I'm, ask, I'm asking you, do you think he's a good representation of the American people? Because that's what is ultimately what the president is, is ultimate a uh, diplomat of the American people. I, so I disagree to an extent. I don't believe that the president should be a figure that we should look to up to in that I'm state. I'm just saying, but for so, other countries, do look at him as a so figure. If, so, if, so if I were to say, if I were to take the perspective of other countries looking at Trump, yeah. and if they say, does he accurate representation of America, I would say yes, because other countries fear him. Okay. Other countries really, like, they when, when when Obama left office and Trump took office, a lot of countries started to, you know, tighten their belts because they're like, okay, we don't have a pushover anymore. But I think the whole, again, like, 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 even if that's like what it's meant to do, that's not what it's communicated. And so even if that's like, that is like what is like supposed to be happening and that, that is the emphasis behind it, like we're trying to keep negative things, we're trying to keep drugs, we're trying to keep sex trafficking all out of, out of this, the, the country. That's not what's being communicated. What's being communicated is you're trying to keep a bunch of people out who are trying to make a life for themselves. And so that's not that's not the mentality around Hispanics is, oh, we're trying to keep sex trafficking and all these things out. No, what people think about that is, oh, they're just trying to send us back or they're just trying to keep out Hispanics from coming over here. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? I'm, Do you? Not a, I'm not a Trump supporter, but okay. he's not racist like, at all. I don't say I agree on some of his terms too. To be honest, like what she was saying was kind of bullshit. To be honest, because like people don't know that Obama did do more of the uh, illegal um, immigrant deported deported immigration. Because I watch Stephen Carter a lot, and he does this right. And he at first I thought Trump was like oh f Trump stuff like that. But when I started researching, he's actually not a bad president. If you think about it, like he's helped more Mexicans than Obama has. He's done a lot more for the country. Economy's up. It's like I don't support I don't support Trump. Like he's a he's a dumbass. His Twitter's a dumbass. All that shit. But po politically and economically, this country has been better than it was. Like our debt went down. Like Obama got like what? Messed like 13 trillion dollars more in debt, something like that. So Trump's actually helping the country. Would I vote for him again? Honestly, I might. Like I don't know. But like I think that like people should be more educated on Trump. Yeah, he's privileged. Yeah, he's white. Well, obviously, like, it's America, like, how is that a bad thing? What do you say to people who believe he's racist? Uh, I say, I say, do your research and talk to people who uh, have a different stance than you, and maybe uh, you can see where they're coming from. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.